How can a dead star tick steadily enough to notice that? The answer is that some pulsars are absurdly stable rotators. A millisecond pulsar is a neutron star about 20 kilometers across, spinning maybe 600 times per second, and its radio beam sweeps past Earth with nearly the same rhythm for decades. Radio telescopes timestamp those pulses, then subtract everything predictable, Earth's orbit, the solar system's motion, and delays from interstellar plasma. The leftovers are timing residuals, how many nanoseconds early or late a pulse arrived compared with our best model. For the cleanest pulsars, residuals can be 30 nanoseconds, about 9 meters of light travel distance, but each pulsar has its own quirks, tiny spin noise, occasional glitches, and propagation changes in the plasma between stars. With all that mess, what stops us from mistaking random drift for a gravitational wave signal? What stops us is correlation. A pulsar timing array, a PTA, times dozens of millisecond pulsars, maybe 30 to 70 of them, for 15 years or more. Our full video explaining this was posted recently. Check it out on our channel profile now.